Level 16 is an endlessly expanding aquarium-like structure. Level 16 has a large number of rooms, each containing one or more fish tanks of varying sizes. Some rooms are dead ends, while others have doors to other sections of the level. Most of the tanks are empty or destroyed, with the exception of a few tanks that can house liquid and other items. The ceiling and walls of the aquarium are comprised of impenetrable concrete-like material. The floor of most rooms consists of hyper-polished marble tiling, while other floors are more deteriorated and without shine. Said polished floors can be a hazard, as they may redirect the light into wanderers' eyes. There are fluorescent lights installed into the ceiling and inside of the glass tanks. They are often irritating to stare at due to their immense luminosity and constant flickering. The tanks are the primary source of danger on level 16. Many fish tanks appear to have been broken from the inside through blunt force, with glass shards scattered outside the fish tanks. A number of the tanks contain liquids, which range from safe to hazardous, such as carpet fluid and almond water. It is recommended not to touch or taste any liquid unless you know for certain what the liquid is and whether or not it is safe. The tanks fill up with the liquid through several pipes, which gradually drip into the tanks from above. It is possible to collect this liquid by either climbing a ladder on the tank if it has one, or by breaking into the tank itself. However, breaking the glass is the last resort solution. Documented liquids within these fish tanks include, but are not limited to, various cleaning fluids, gasoline, various dangerous chemicals, carpet fluid, water, blood, and almond water. Tanks can also hold a variety of objects often associated with whatever liquid is inside, such as cleaning bottles and cleaning liquid tanks. Objects found are often in horrible conditions and barely function, if at all. Objects inside tanks often appear in better condition than they are when removed from the tank. Wanderers have claimed to see objects inside, but upon searching the fish tank, they found nothing. There are currently only two known entity species on level 16. The first entities, known as swimmers, appear as marine animals such as tuna, crabs, whales, sharks, and more. It is believed that any type of marine animal can appear. The entities appear only in tanks with liquid inside. Somehow they are able to survive even if the liquid would prevent life inside. The entities are harmless when inside a tank, but upon leaving, regardless of animal species, they will attempt to maul and consume the wanderer. Upon leaving their tank, the entities will begin to swim through the air at the person who let the entity out. The entities, regardless of animal species, will attempt to bite and eat the person. Entities can be avoided by shutting doors or getting the entity into another tank, preferably the former, as when doors to an empty room are shut, the room changes. Upon re-entry into a previously shut room, the rooms will have different contents than before the change. No one has encountered swimmers already outside their tanks. The other entities are much more dangerous and should be avoided at all costs. The entities are known as pods, which resemble marine animals of the cephalopod family, consisting of squids, octopi, nautiluses, and ammonites. These entities are considered intelligent and will lure people into tanks by imitating objects that the person would desire. If a person enters the tank, the pods will drown the person. If the tank is broken, the pods will attempt to strangle or suffocate the person with their tentacles. If the person is not lured into the tank, the pods will leave the tank and will behave as if their tank was broken. Leaving the room and shutting the door does not work on pods as they are capable of swimming through walls and doors. The best way to survive a pod attack is by running away until the pod wears out and retreats. Level 16 has been theorized to be expanding at an inconsistent rate. As previously mentioned, rooms that have been shut while empty change contents to a different room. These new rooms can have one to three more doors than the previous version, leading to level 16 increasing in size. The divers are a small community located near the entrance to level 16. The divers have set up several rooms where they have removed the doors to prevent room shifts and have set up a small safe house. The divers will offer safety and liquids to any passers-by in exchange for food or other objects. The divers' main goals appear to be to identify the liquids in level 16 and to set up a pathway to the exits for wanderers to traverse safely. The divers have tagged numerous tanks by liquid and guard several of the tanks such as the water, almond water, and several unknown tanks. The divers will only show aggression if attacked or if a wanderer attempts to enter into any of the documented tanks. 
Strangely, all members of the divers have blue eyes and behave in a similar manner. Overall, the divers consist of 12 people and 208 safe rooms. Entry into level 16 is possible by either falling into the pool on level 14 or by going through a stone arch on level 15. By using the former entrance, people will find themselves in a tank of water inside the safety of the divers. Using the latter method will find the person in a random room on level 16. There's only one known exit out of level 16. The exit is by finding the room with an exit sign above a door. Walking through the door will take you to level 17.